Hello sir, since it's getting close to Christmas, we would like to give a couple of candy canes. And giving away peppermint sticks too so how many would you like? Well, I'll take a baker's dozen full of candy canes. Alright Ariman, you and your girlfriend enjoy. Thanks a bunch. Hey Dylan, how's your day going? So so Trombon, anyways what are you up to? Roll and I are giving away candy canes and peppermint sticks would you like some? I'll take a baker's dozen full of peppermint sticks, thanks. You're welcome Dill, enjoy. Would you like some candy canes and peppermint sticks? I'll take two peppermint sticks and would you like some of my chocolate muffins? Sure, thanks Rosa. You're welcome because those muffins tastes great. Sure I can take four of the candy canes. Oh no purchase necessary for them coming. Sure, I'll take two of the peppermint sticks to roll. Oh I so don't expect a tip from anyone. Sure I will take six of the candy canes. I hope you and your uncle have a Merry Christmas. Wow Tron Bon, looks like we have given away every piece of candy canes and peppermint sticks. True that, we even got extra money when we don't expect anything else. Well, let's go to Pizza Hut for some stuffed crust pizza. Consider that as a sign for a job well done. everyone, do y'all know who I am, Jack Frost, responsible for frosty winter, nipping other people's fingers and toes in such cold weather, coloring the foliage in autumn and leaving fern-like patterns on cold windows in winter. And I have came to spread some holiday cheer with a lot more snow, and I have done it since the late one of the century, so you all better stay warm while you all can. Hey Junko, what do you have in mind to have for Christmas? Uh, well, it's so much to think about Mason. Oh, I see what you mean, anyways Christmas is a few days away right? Let's watch something on TV Mason, starting to get hyped as hell. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt the program of Kiss Saves Santa for important breaking news. The cold weather is getting more intense than necessary because it's getting colder down from 39 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit, weather report Marcy Jenkins will explain. Thanks Arnold, what you see on your screen is that there is a big ass blizzard that's coming in, schools are closed before that, and stores and restaurants are next, pipes are frozen solid, train schedules cancelled and postponed and some city bus drivers are stranded and others got lucky at home. So please for the love of God Jesus Christ, and especially Santa Claus stay at your homes. Oh, shit! A blizzard is coming up? Fuck, this ain't going well on a Christmas spirit. Wow, this is getting all bumpy, don't you think Percy? Oh God, James, I feel like something is malfunctioning on my system. Oh toughen your asshole up Percy, those are just snow bumps that you should look out for. But James, haven't you watched the news? News schmooze. Come on we got a couple of more deliveries to make. It's probably Belhilmere. I wonder what he wants. Hello Belhilmere. Percy, thank God I reached you. What's going on? Percy, I need you and James to drop everything. The weather is about to have a snowstorm and you two need to head back to the station. Okay I'll notify James about that. Good, you two better hurry. What did Belhilmere say? Oh, I'll tell you what he said to us. It's called, we gotta get back to the station, drop everything, the weather is getting worse. Are you dumb or something? We're almost done with the deliveries so, hey watch it. Hurry up damn it. God damn it! I can't believe that Chicken Express is closed. Fuck! We really wanted to have another binge of chicken strips.
Oh god, Morrigan, can you feel how cold it's getting? Come on, love. Let's get back home to eat something from the fridge. <laughs> Y'all can run, but you can't hide. Whoa, where are you supposed to be? Oh, hello sir, I'm Jack Frost, and you? Oh, I'm Caillou Anderson, what brings you here? I have a couple of candy canes and peppermint sticks, would you like some? Sure, I'd like a peppermint stick. Yeah, go ahead and take it. What? What's happening to me? I don't know. Maybe it's because he chose the wrong kind of candy. Ah! Uh, somebody help me get out of this. Fuck! Goodbye, Gilly. Hello, boss. I got him. Who did you take down? That yellow-haired freak who was supposed to be bald and of cancer. Yeah, I'm very proud of you, Jack Frost. But you still got a couple jobs to make this world into a complete blizzard. I'm on it, boss. And no need to call me boss. Call me Boris or Emperor Boris or Boris the sexy ass teeth guy, and more of our allies will show up to help you with your assessment. Sounds like a good plan. Excuse me, what are you doing with a Halloween pumpkin helmet in your head? Oh, you know, for protection. Oh, I see. Protection from what? Protection from me being blinded by the line. Oh shit, revved up like a deuce another runner in the night. Yeah, that's cool as hell. Do you know what else is cool? Yeah, let's hear what else is cool. High five. Certainly. Oh no, what the hell is happening to me? How cool is that? And by the way, my name is Jack Frost. No, you tricked me, you fucking... Ha ha ha, not so cool to you now, huh? <laughs> this sketch was requested by Connor and Lucy. Hello, I'm Connor. And I'm Lucy. You might remember me as the 2023 character elimination winner. And you remember me as a fourth place winner of this year's contest. What are we waiting for? Let's go somewhere fun, Lucy. That's how we will celebrate our Christmas spirits, Connor. Hey, Lucy. What shall we do first? Let's head over to Plotagon Playback Theater to watch a movie. Well, that's a good start. When they get to Plotagon Playback Theater. Will this place remain open on Christmas Day? That's what Mason said and told us to close at 6. We got customers here. Let's go to our job. Welcome to Plotagon Playback Theater. What film would you and Lucy like to see? Hello. We would like to have two tickets to see Sonic the Hedgehog. That will be $20. Welcome to the snack bar. What may I get you and Connor for? Hi. We'd like to have two jumbo beverages with two jumbo popcorns, and also two bags of original and white chocolate covered pretzels of flips. Alright. That'll be $17. That price doesn't sound too bad. At theater booth number 5. Gotta love this best view. Yeah, we can see the movie clearly. <laughs> this movie sucks. Hey, you with the glasses, hush up before I kick you out. Are you gay? Sonic and his movie is one, now shove it up your ass. If you dare talk trash about Sonic, he's gonna get you. Look, I give a damn, I hope he doesn't get a third movie. Oh, now here comes Sonic. Too bad that Eggman broke the rules. Eggman, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Are you out of your mind? You don't deserve a movie or a sequel and I hope you don't get a prequel. That's it Eggman, your ass is out of here. Get off of me, you know, and hedgehog you suck. Get out of here, Eggman. Eggman, you know better than jealousy. After the movie ends. That Sonic the Hedgehog movie was great. You said it, Connor. That movie was quite alright to me. It was all good, that's for sure. It may not be a masterpiece, but it's a splendid movie. Well, I'm glad you said that, bud. I'm hungry. What about you, Lucy? Sure. Can we go to McDonald's? Sure we can. 
Let's go get some McRibs at McDonald's. Welcome to McDonald's, Connor and Lucy. Would you two like to try the McRib? Yes, please make them two combos, one for each of us. And may we have six pieces of cookies with them, please? All right, that'll be twenty dollars. Oh, this is magnificent. Oh, why does it taste so good? This is the best limited edition sandwich ever. You and I can literally taste the barbecue sauce on them. If anyone wants the McRibs then come get them before they're all gone. Did you have fun Lucy? I sure did Connor. Alright, let's watch some Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. You sure remember that the Power Rangers make our day better. Hello peeps. We would like to show you all about how do we celebrate Christmas. Although this special day until next week, but we are going to show anyways. Goodness! Junko and I baked those delicious gingerbread cookies, and I placed a cup of eggnog with them, and we certainly can't wait until the next day. This is gonna rock. Hey dude, let's get some sleep. Don't want to look all groggy tomorrow. Sure Junko, let's get some should I? Two hours later. Ho ho holy cow, Mason and his bestie Junko have done a miracle job at everything. Official US PlayStation Magazine discs shall come to me. Fulfill my despaired destiny with red teeth losers behind bars for life. Whoa, someone made me cookies and milk? That's great. Mason and Junko definitely deserved something special. Same goes for his troops. The next morning on Christmas. Mason, wake your plotagon ass up. Damn! Junko, what is it? It's Christmas silly. What? what? When Mason, Junko and the others went to the living room. Here they are Emmy. Ho ho holy hot damn. Yeah. Great! Santa came in and got us presents. True that, true that. Would you like to open your present? Certainly. Hell, yeah! A Blu-ray player with a two-disc history of WWE Hardcore Championship and ECW H1 Nightstand 2005 and 2006. Oh damn right, a Blu-ray DVD of Panty and Stocking Complete Series and the Demon Slayer movie. Isn't that nice? A big-ass sweater with two holes on top and two arms and an ex-personal hygiene set. That's lovely. Look at the Plotagon Skits backpack. This looks great in a lovely picture of us. Wow, an American girl version of me in a Nintendo Switch with a Princess Peach Showtime game. Perfect! A wireless Bluetooth headphones in a Blu-ray double pack of Ted. Great! A Blu-ray triple feature of Bill and Ted and a nice looking hoverboard. Hey I got the hoverboard just like Kami. Holy heavens I got an exercise mountain bike. Magnificent. A 2 Blu-ray disc compilation of the best of Titan Academy. Perfect! A Nintendo Switch game copy of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Mega Stalkers. I hope you two learned your lessons after what you two did. Here you two go. Well what the hell is it? Beats the fuck out of me so let's see it. Dear Mega Stalkers, I hope you two learned your lessons about what you two did last month. I was not pleased about it. However, since you two paid the $500 fine, I have the courage to give you two something for mostly doing the right things. You have a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Sincerely yours, a jolly old Saint Nick aka, Santa Claus. This is the greatest present ever Morgan. Holy fuck shit we hit the jackpot. There you peeps have it. We slept all night, wait until morning for Christmas, opening our presents. After that, we went to eat a delicious Christmas feast and enjoy our gifts, watch Titan Academy, Panty and Stocking, and even ECW. When Christmas arrives, you better not shout, cry, but watch out for me, because your jolly old Saint Nick aka Santa Claus is coming to town. Hashtag Plotagon December. God damn it! It's getting fucking cold in here. Damn it I don't whether it's cold in here or out there. I've done turned up the heat and nothing helps much. Oh come on, is the insulation behind the walls are getting worn out. Oh god, Mason, Junko, 
Let's thank God that we found you too. What, Oliver, Ashley, what happened to you too? We were having a snowball fight, but it's been interfered on account of a dangerous cold temperature. Maybe we gotta see the news to find out what's going on. Breaking news ladies and gentlemen, the raging cold temperature has been reduced to 14 degrees Fahrenheit. The streets have gone slippery, pipes have been imploded, tragic accidents have been occurred on account of the big ass truckers whom didn't want it to happen to begin with, Officer Doreeman is on the scene. Thanks Richard Kimball, I'd like to say, my fucking god it's just as cold as King Kong Bundy's tits are there, so here are some survivors whom are suffering their pains. Shit, we have never felt so much pain than usual. What do people think how much pain we're in? One of us is bleeding out of our mouths like hell. Why does have to happen, right before Christmas? If the paramedics don't hurry their asses up we're gonna die. Luxray, have you contacted the paramedics? I have sir, but it's gonna take longer because of the slippery streets. Shit! How could have this happen, right before Christmas? Anyways everyone at home, stay at your houses. Do not leave outside at a raging cold day in hell. Turn on the heater but don't rise up to a maximum overdrive cause otherwise you fucked. Speaking of fucked, you next. Wait who the hell is this? Your worst Christmas nightmare bitch. Oh hell no. Who is that that killed Richard Kimball? I don't know who but that scared us. Who would wear a pumpkin during the holiday season? This shit can't be fucking happening. Zoreman's out there babe, do you think that he and his police team will make it back home okay? I know that you're worried about him as much as Pacheco does. Sniff sniff, it's not starting to look a lot like Christmas, it's starting to look a lot like another apocalypse. There there honey, we're gonna hang in there until the end. Cummy, DeLorean, thank god we found you too. It's fucking cold like a big ass dick outside. Mega stalkers what is going on? What has gotten into you two? You two are not gonna like this. Someone captured an asshole via Instagram. Fuck! Finally you're here. Did somebody call a paramedic? Wait a minute! Oh, you want some too, bitch? Oh no, sir. Well, too bad. Oh hell yeah, more witnesses to the menace. Kathy, please get in the car. Thanks, second big bro. Come on, Bell Hill Mayor, please. If you two weren't here, we would have died. No, that ass face hijacked the ambulance vehicle and killed two police officers. No, this is so uncalled for. Ugh, who the hell was that? I didn't get to see the license plate. Oh well, it don't matter anyway, because I have something better than sending someone to jail for hit and run. Ha ha, prepare for the best Christmas you'll have yet. What the hell is that you stupid ass Karen? What the hell kind of pizza is that? Wait a minute. It was piping hot earlier. I don't know how this got cold in less than an hour. I swear I have placed the pizza in the insulation bag. Great, I just spent over $20 for one frozen ass pizza. I'm filing a complaint, and I hope you get fired from DoorDash. Asriel, please don't. Can you please reimburse me for Christ's sake? Shut up, Karen. I hope you and your undisciplined kids will live in the streets anytime soon, especially when you ruined your own husband's life and his entire holiday spirit. Oh, I tried. Oh, how I tried. I tried to do what's right, but I kept fucking it up. I just wanted people to stop treating me and my kids like a couple of goddamn pariahs. Isn't that too much to ask? In case you're wondering, yeah, it is Karen, so you must die. Who are you? Don't worry who I am. See you in the winter land of hell. No. Oh, the weather outside for my pariah, and the fire is nowhere in sight. And since Frozen Corpse has got nowhere to go, let it blow, let it blow, let it blow. Even though it's not time yet in real life, 
but this sketch was taken back on Monday, December 25th, Christmas Day. Oh yes, have yourself a merry little Christmas, ain't that right everyone? I hope this is the solution for Dad to get along with us. Wait, so we're gonna be your family again for real? Yeah, I can't wait to see how much of a fuck up that you will make for Dave. Mason, please, don't be gay. You got it right, but calm down BFF. Yeah Junko, you're right, I have to cool it. What do you want? Ah, uh, Dave, your room is still nothing but your bed? Don't you remember what happened last month? Come on Dave, let's go downstairs. If it's an entitled Karen of a severed head, I'm gonna be very upset. I hope Dave gets the best Christmas ever. After all the hell and all bullshit he doesn't deserve. Hello, Dad. Merry Christmas. Yeah, 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 Merry Christmas to you too, you dumb little shits. Dave, just chill. It's Christmas. It would have been better if I was with the Teletubbies and Barney and Klonoa. Now, now, Dave. After all the punishments you suffered, I just want to say I'm very sorry. We're very sorry for getting on your case. And we're sorry that we ruined Thanksgiving for y'all. Wait a minute, the Thanksgiving dinner was all. Bestie, just let it go. You think I would accept y'all's apologies? Ugh, you know those Karens like the three of y'all never apologize. Come on Dave, at least show some compassion. Come on Dave, have some compassion. Come on, it's Christmas. It's about forgiveness after all. Well, calm down and get your squishmallow. What's wrong, Dave? Hello, Earth to Dave. Dave, are you okay? What kind of squishmallow is that? And it smells like fucking shit. Oh, come on, Dave, don't be such an ungrateful little faggot. No, you shut the fuck up, you entitled Karen. I can't believe that you did another bad deed to your own husband. Dad, please, can't you at least have some dignity? Come on, Dad, you can't be so picky over something. Get your little shit asses off my case, you two disgraceful little monster hellions. I can't believe that I have a squishmallow that smells like a gorilla trying to shove it up its ass. Oh! You're right, Dave, it does smell like shit with all the fucking shit stains. Oh, come on. I'm trying to show a little Christmas spirit. Says the entitled Karen, who cares about someone besides her own husband, and left him behind to die. Because of you I'll never be happy, since I didn't get a good Squishmallow, or any other children's shows that you took away. You fucking tell that bitch what Christmas is all about. That whore thinks that she's chicken shit with that fucking shitty ass gift. Come on Dave, at least you got the DVDs of shows that are right for you. I don't want any of those shows that I don't like. Pandy and Stocking and the kids in the hall and Beavis and Butthead. Are you fucking kidding me? That's all I'm getting for Christmas, you heartless Karen. I feel lost at this point. What are the odds between naughty and nice? Hell no, I ain't having this. I'm not gonna put up with this bullshit. Dave, no! What are you doing with the Christmas presents in the tree? Don't do it, Dave. You're lucky I'm off duty. No! Dave, don't burn nothing. It's not worth any- <laughs> <laughs> Dad, how could you? <laughs> what, Dad, why did you ruin Christmas? <laughs> why did you burn up the Christmas tree with all our presents with it? Because I fucking hate you. I hate you three with all my fucking heart, and that's what it's coming to. You fuck me over, and I fuck you three over because of how much entitled and unfair you still are. You know what? I give up bringing Dave back together with his family. I feel your pain, Oliver. Let's just leave. Isn't it the thought that counts, Doreeman? Not the Dave, it's not because his holiday spirit is permanently lost. This is one awful Christmas. I feel bad for Dave Hun. After Dave burnt all his family's Christmas presents along with the tree, Dave packed all his things. Fifteen minutes later after that. Dave, don't go. Shut up, bitch. I have no son, I have no daughter, and I definitely have no wife because I want a fucking divorce. And you can just shove your parts of mercy up your asses. I'm leaving the tree of you. Goodbye for good and I hope to God that I won't see you or those two little bastard bitches again. <laughs> How could Dave do this? 
Wow, why is this happening? Wow, it's the worst Christmas ever. Three of you people are fucking awful. I can't believe that we apologized to you. Thankfully we didn't blame Oliver for the right thing. We blame all three of you. You three are terrible people. How could you do this to your own relative? We're fucking leaving and let you three mope to yourselves. Fuck you all. Mom, this is absolutely the worst Christmas ever. I can't believe I'm saying this, but his family has fallen apart. <laughs> <laughs> Your father left us, he's enraged, and he's gone. Fuck my entitled Karen of an ex-wife and permanently disowned kids, because this is absolutely ridiculous, and this is the last Christmas that I'm gonna put this shit up with because my own ex-wife never give me nothing good. You hear me Catherine, Brian and Emma, I hope you have a merry fucking Christmas you filthy animals, and a happy fucking new year.